What's up, deckheads? Welcome back to MTG with me. It's the Gainswalker. Today we're going to be doing another midweek magic event. This one is Alchemy. I've never made an Alchemy deck, but as far as I know, that's kind of just an online-only kind of thing. As far as MTG goes, I, I believe that's just an, an arena thing. So I pulled it up. I looked at the cards that you can use for it. A lot of that is the new Lord of the Rings stuff. And, I mean, I've never really opened any Alchemy packs other than what it gives you when you start a new uh, a new month, uh, climbing the ladder again, occasionally it gives you some of those packs. So I threw something together uh, from mainly some of the ideas that we've seen during our drafts for the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. So uh, the deck is a Naya deck. It's going to use a lot of uh, haste kind of stuff with Aowen, uh, both types of Aowen. It's going to use uh, Aragorn. Uh, it's going to use a lot of that Lord of the Rings stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to jump right into it. Deck is, uh, I, I hope it's going to play well. I have not tested it yet. Just built it and doing it right now. But uh, it's got a little bit of a de death touch thing. So I'll be trying to use death touch and fighting mechanics to clear the board state. Uh, so we'll see. It's a pretty good hand. Uh, one of each in the, in the three color deck. I don't have any other mana fixing in the deck. It's just three color and just, you know, hope to draw an open hand with it. So I'm going to keep this. I think this is a, a good play. Ooh, aggro deck. That could be a problem. <clears throat> All right, so Theoden gives uh, double strike, which could be useful. Arwen, uh, let's see, ETB with an indestructible, and then I have to pay mana to get rid of it. Okay, so not not as great. But it doesn't look like they hit me too hard. They're going to hit me hard for three here, at least three. So if I can find a way to gain life, that would be ideal. Ooh, okay. Down to 14. Ooh, nice. Legolas has reached. That should help us, assuming we can get... Um, assuming we can get another forest out. So for now, I will play Arwen. Um, she'll have indestructible, but then I can remove it. Another creature gets indestructible, put a plus one, plus one counter and lifelink counter on that. Okay, and so so basically I'm going to want to use that next turn. Hopefully draw any kind of a land. Uh, and then that way I can swing with two kinds of lifelink. And try to gain some life away from this. Ooh, so th that's going to do double damage. Uh, anytime a red source deals damage, it deals one more. So that's actually going to be six damage. And that's going to hurt. <laughs> That's okay, because I can gain uh, one, two, three, five damage next turn. Ooh. Okay, actually, I could do a little bit more. All right, so um, I'm, I'm going to use Arwen. I'm going to remove the counter, giving the plus one, plus one counter, and the lifelink, and indestructible, which is great. Two Mirkwood Spider. That's also going to make Arwen a 3-3 with lifelink. And I'm going to use Ent's Fury to buff them and get them to fight some of the flyers. So, they both should get lifelink, if I read that correctly. They did. Awesome. Uh, Ent's Fury, I have to do it on Arwen, but at least she has lifelink. Because it has to be a power 4 or greater after the plus 1 plus 1 to deal, life, uh, to deal damage. So I'm going to deal that to the flyer, because that's what's going through. Or at least one of them. You do three damage for one. Ooh, you know what? That's a misplay on their part. They should have they should have done that damage to Arwen. It says uh, two damage to any target. That would have done three damage to Arwen. 
and stop me from getting lifelink. That's what they should have done. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll swing for six here. And now they both have death touch, and that's all fun. I also put prized unicorn in here because of the death touch. So if you swing with prized unicorn, it says any creature able to block it has to block it. So if you give it death touch and it's got enough damage on it, I think it's a 3-3, you could spread out the death touch and just really wreck people. Alright, so that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not enough. Alright, so now I will throw in Theoden to give double strike to Arwen. So that that way it'll be 6, 7, 8 life gain. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Going down just a little bit each time. I think that's the move because I've only got three mana. Two, four, six, eight, or seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I will have to chop. Ooh, that hurts. Did they have enough? Ooh, we might have. We might have just got. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. Those are the best ones, though. Don't forget to like and subscribe move on to the next one. Let's see what it is. Hive Heart Shaman. 4 drop, 3, 5. Whenever it attacks, search a library for a basic land card uh, that doesn't share a land type with a land you control. Put it on the battlefield. For 6, activate the ability Pumpable. Create a 1-1 one, one green insect. Put X plus 1 plus encounters on it where X is the number of basic land types. Interesting, but I don't think anybody's playing that card. That's a little better. But we don't have any forest, and that's too risky. Mmm, I guess that's better. I've got more Shadow Facts than I do Ryu in here, so I'll throw that out. Start with the Murkwood Spider. Hopefully we draw another forest, and we can get Legolas out there. Ooh, he's gone. Hey, well, we got a mountain, so that's good. Work our way towards Ryu. Another haste deck. Wow, okay. Hey, there we go. Now, Legolas with Ents Fury is great, because anytime I target Legolas, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. Anytime I target another opponent, it deals his damage to something else. So we may take a couple hits here. Let's see, is this an ETB only? When it dies. Okay, cool. I'll play Ryu here. I don't know if I should swing. I'm assuming it doesn't matter because they're tapped out. Let's, you know, because it's going to be untapped. Let's just see if they block, you know, human error. They might be, they might not block for some reason. See, that's a misplay. There's no reason they should have done. And I was thinking it was a warrior. It is not. It's an archer. Swing for nine, yikes. Um, okay, I got a little block power here. All right, put a plus one, plus one counter. If it's four or greater, that creature gets fights another creature until end of turn. So I could get rid of one of the flyers. I'd have to get rid of the one with trample. Chop the four, four with the one, four Legolas. And slowly make our way through this. But, you know, 
If they play another dragon, we're just out. So I guess Ents Fury. Dude on Ryu. Dark creature don't control. Uh Legolas deals damage equal to its power up to one target creature. Um I mean I guess. The two three. They'll probably just exile two cards, just unless they have something awesome that they have for like seven or less mana. I'm assuming they've got this game at this point, because I don't know how they don't. They went for the cards, okay. That makes me think that they don't have something. So I'm going to swing with a 6-2. It untaps. It's got first strike. I'm hoping that they lock. That makes it easier for me. They took it. Wow. They may chop it now. Because if they don't swing across for lethal next turn. That means I, I have a chance. Okay. I get hit for one. Puts me at two. That's it. Oh, good game. Ah, burn. This is a pretty good Boros hand right here. Let's see, turn three, Theoden. Actually, I should wait till turn four, then play Theoden. Ooh, nice. A little Elven Farsight action. So it can't play Legolas, but I don't mind drawing it. And we already have Theoden. Mm. Let's move the Legolas down. We'll do this. That way I can just draw that. And we got a new card on the way. 3-2, Blood Tokens, very popular card. Looks like a Grixis deck. Shadow Facts, ETB, or whenever it attacks. Put a creature card with lesser power. Ooh, Elwyn could fix that problem. Alright, we'll put the Odin out. They're probably going to do more blood token stuff and get rid of them. Okay. Well, we saw that coming. So we'll play Ryu next turn. Hope that that doesn't get removed. And then do a Theoden kind of thing. Double strike on Ryu is nuts. As long as he can stay alive. Alright. Alright. Let's see. You have anything to stop it? Counter action, probably. Ah, of course. Counters. Lame. Hmm. Well then. Down to 11. Let's do this. How's about Shadow Facts? Counter. You monster. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Two damage down to nine, so that's their, their move. They're going to play a little. A little bit of something, counter and burn the rest. Non-creature, non-land, you can't discard anything. Alright, sweet. See my hand, though. 
And a six. How about... Ooh, no counters. You ran out of counters. Down to 16. Is it possible? Ooh. You could sack that and get rid of my death touch if you wanted to. Oh, they got rid of it to draw a pitch and a land. Two open mana. Immediately moving. Fan step. Alright, when I swing with both, I'll give Aowen Death Touch and Double Strike. Putting the pressure on now. Next turn, I will... I mean, I could play Aowen. That's six damage, I have to block. Do you think I can't do nine? Let's see. Well, now I can't do the double strike. Hmm. Let's swing the three, four. They're down to six. I have that to throw at them. And I can even block with the spider. Chandra. I think that's lethal. Two targets. Yep, that's it. Ooh. Chandra got me. Yep. Gotta do it. You Close, though. Yeah, I'm having fun. Um... I could pitch a Ryu, do Elven Farsight, and hope to organize some land. I think that's the move. Okay, that worked out. Um, I don't need double red. We'll do that. Of course. Here comes the heat. So we'll do Aragorn, then we'll do Ryu, and we'll hope for the best there. Quickly burning and moving across. Burning him outright. Yikes. How about Legolas? You got enough burn for four? That'll do three. Not enough. I love it. Alright, so the unicorn. Probably could play that now. Let's get Ryu out there. They missed a land drop or two. Five cards in hand. Three open mana. Did they miss another land drop? Could it be? This one, oh, uh, that one I believe puts out tokens. Gives me a good opportunity to get some damage in. Should be eight damage, unless they decide to start chopping. Chopping with Squee already. Um, let's see, they can play it back if they exile four cards. And they don't have it. They got two in the graveyard. This card is heavily overlooked. 
It says all creatures able to block it must do so. So if they do oh weak. If they didn't if they didn't swing out and they wanted to leave those as blockers, I can swing through and everybody has to block the prize unicorn, which is hilarious. Uh four two first strike. I uh, will probably get rid of Squee. Now I'll get rid of one of those. Um, and I'll take a chance on a 1-2. You got more damage for me? Oh, that's right. Mechanized Warfare. Yikes. Misplay on my part. <laughs> Could have had him down to 3. Doesn't make a difference. 5 open mana. Burn spell? All they gotta do is burn me for three, and that'll be four total. Then the one goes around. Alright, I will... Shop Squee. Did they really give up? So by chopping Squee, I took four. That didn't make any sense. Let's review that. So this says, if a red uh, or artifact source would deal damage to opponent, it deals that much damage plus one. I was at five. Five minus the one, two, that's three, minus one, two is one. But it's uh, for some reason says negative one. The reason they quit is because they calculated that too. So MTGA, what's going on with the bugs today? Well, what are you doing? Second card is... Academy Lore Master. This is for two islands, two, three. We can give each player's draw step. That player may draw an additional card. If they do, spells they cast this turn cost two more to cast. Hmm. Interesting trade-off. Not sure how many people would actually play that card, but I'm sure it is playable somehow. Especially with all the... Uh, Especially with like the, the blue-black draw card, lose a life, but then you have Sheldred that says you gain more than you're losing, so you're net gaining. A lot of people do that. All right. This is not a keep. We need more lands, not a keep. Yikes. Pretty sure we just lose at this now. Um, let's get rid of Aragorn, and I don't want to say Mirkwood, but we don't have... We don't have forest. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that and just hope for the best. Looking at a Grixis setup here, probably gonna counter burn that kind of stuff. All right, we got a feud in. We need one more land, and we can cut. Ooh. We're going to set up that Ryu and Theoden. Hopefully they don't... I mean, it's possible that they don't have any counter or burn. Uh, it's very likely that they do, because they have so many cards in hand. Uh, Alright. We got to try. They didn't counter it. So they had no mana to counter. Do they have enough to burn it? For four. Or destroy. Cut down, go for the throw. All the removal is available. Choose an artifact or a creature card. There goes Theoden. That's our only playable card. That's the card they should remove. Makes sense to me. And now we're going to hope to see a land. We got it. Hey, we're doing stuff. I'm assuming removal here. The ring. Ooh, okay. So unless they have a way, they're probably doing the Sheldred thing. This is very popular now because it'll allow you to draw cards, deal damage. Uh, pretty unique situation there. Swing for three. Um, oh, that's right. Dumb. They have protection from everything until the next turn. So that did a whole bunch of nothing. Sacrifice creature, get rid of Aragorn. 
need a little bit of uh, ring temp for that to really do what it's supposed to do, and I don't think I have that much. I overlooked that. Putting in the unicorn. Going in for three. They're gonna go down to 12. Really looking for Sheldred. That's what they're looking for. And they got it. So that's that's the play I was just talking about. That's the thing that everybody loves to do. Uh, when you can use that format, that's what people are doing. So I need to find a way to get Death Touch to the Unicorn swing across. I don't think I have strong enough removal to get rid of Sheldred. Let's see. Ooh. That'll work. Excellent. Alright, so let's move these lands to the bottom except for the forest. We're gonna draw Aowen. We're gonna play Aowen. That'll get rid of Sheldred. Assuming there's no counter. Oh, wow. We lucked out for that and we didn't get it. That's it. Yeah, good game. Ah. Hey, well, I think we did decent with that strategy. We don't have much to play with, so. Oh, saw it coming, though. Just a mile away. Get rid of the unicorn. Oof. The hunt continues. I'll keep this just because I think I could find another forest with Elven Farsight. And then, like I said, Legolas and Fury is definitely an amazing combo. There is the forest, and then Shadowfax. We don't have the mountain. Hopefully, we'll find one. Cool. Pretty good open hand here, though. I like it. I like that they have an autumn tree folk. That's cool. Haven't seen that yet. All right, let's do another one. Plenty of force that we don't need. And just like that, we have already filtered through, I want to say six or seven cards in the deck. That's so good. Ooh, they're going to make something expensive. Probably Legolas. That is my assumption. That's what I would do. I don't know if that's what you would do. Really? That's such a misplay. I don't even have a mountain. How am I going to play that? Weak. Are they going to build a board state? They do, and they're going to make something in my hand cost two more. Very interesting deck build. I've humored the idea several times, but I ultimately came down to the conclusion that that deck is good, but only as good as the information that you have. So you have to play like a Gobacon before something like Peacekeeper or Silence or anything like that. So uh, that is why I've steered away from those. Let's see. Hmm. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, whenever you cast a creature that casts a spell that targets Legolas. Huh. Alright, so if I do this, it'll target Legolas, he'll become a 2 5, then it'll become a 3 5, and he won't get to fight. But I think that's enough damage. Whenever you spell targets a creature you don't control, deals damage equal to its power. Oh, it doesn't stack. I thought I did it before. Uh, 
Uh, I thought it had to be four. Oh, you get the plus one plus one counter if it's four or greater. Plus one plus one and fights. All right, sweet. So it fights either way. I like that. Had I known that, I probably would have done the Merkwood Spider and get him to do uh, Death Touch and just get rid of it that way. But probably better that I have a bigger board state this way. So that worked out. Another Govacon, Unicorn. Gonna cost six. Ugh. Ridiculous. Um, I'll swing with both. It's gonna bring him down to 14. Never mind. They blocked. So down to 15, up to 18. Thalia, okay. I could put it on Ligolas, but that's not going to do... I mean, it would do a good amount of damage. Um, Actually, it'll do the same either way. So I might as well put two plus one plus one counters on Legolas. That combination is so good. Probably could have made a better deck if I just made it Celesnia with that strategy. And used like Hobbit Sting. That could help a little bit more towards Mono Red, I'm thinking. So if you haven't done this yet, and you've only been drafting a little bit, that might be the way for you to get through these matches. Peacekeeper, what are you going to get rid of that, I, that are already exiled? I don't have a hand. Right now they're just scrolling through the list of stuff that they've seen in this game and picking stuff. They could also just randomly guess and see if I have a card. Because it, it says then choose any card name. So they could literally choose anything. Ent, draw it, base, and I don't have that. Um, view battlefield. I guess I'll move those down. Draw Eowyn and hope to draw a mountain. Next turn. I'll swing with both. They're gonna, yeah, at least get one Govacon. That's the move. It'll be a 4-4, four, four, which is great, because then if I get a mountain, then it's gone. Or that one. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's so lucky. Alright, so we're going to play Eowyn, and we're going to get rid of, I'm guessing, Vigilance here, because that's more of a problem. And then I'll be swinging for 9 damage that they, they can block one of them. So they'll probably get rid of Eowyn. But that's it. Good game. Nice. Yeah, I'm having fun. That was a fun one. Real fun one. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see what our mystery cosmetic is. Elsewhere Flask. When Elsewhere Flask uh, enters the battlefield, draw a card, sacrifice it, choose a basic land type. Each land you control becomes that type until end of turn. That's kind of cool. I think there's definitely a use for that. I've never seen that card before, but that looks cool. Sweet. Um, it looks like we got a pack too. Might as well crack that open. Um, Inherited Envelope, Oliphant, those are popular. Uh, let's see, ETB Creatures Get Death Touch, that's kind of neat. Elven Chorus, 4-drop. 
You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. And creatures have tap, add one man of any color. That's amazing. Especially in draft. So if you see that, pull that card. That is an awesome card. That's going to do it for this video, though. I do appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to watch these games, get those gains, and walk those planes. Until next time, deckheads, keep it easy.